Hello YouTube, today I'm in episode 7 of my Kerbal Space Program playthrough. Uh, this is the career mode for point 22, in case you don't know and you're watching this a, you know, in a lot of time later. But anyway, we've managed to land on the moon, you may have seen in episode 6. And uh, we finished off having just landed on the moon with Jeb. And uh, now we're going to do some tests and some experiments. So the first thing I'm going to do is observe my materials bay and that's scientific value of 100 and uh, there we go so that's not very not worth very much if we transmit it but uh, I think I'm gonna transmit that anyway and uh, you can see we have there we go so uh, how much science was that not that much science because we only get 20% value for that but uh, we do get a reasonable amount of science anyway, so it's not too bad. So let's observe these mystery goo canisters. And the goo seems to be less dense here, so we can transmit that as well, because that's worth a little bit more. And uh, hopefully... That's going to work. Is that going to work? Ah, okay, so there it is. It's transmitting it. And, oh, that's only 1.5 science. That's a bit disappointing, really. So I'm going to keep that data and uh, let's observe this again. And its scientific value hasn't gone down too much, so I'm going to transmit more data there. But anyway, uh, we have to wait for it to do that, I think, before we can EVA and do some crew reports. So I'm going to wait a few seconds. Hopefully it's not charging up too quickly, but I guess if we time warp a bit, it will work. There we go. Oh, it's uploading another... Oh, there we go. I think that's it. So, we're getting a little bit of science from this, but not crazy amounts. Yeah, not too much. So, I'm going to have to actually observe uh, more mystery goo, and I'll keep that, and I'll observe the materials bay as well. And I'll keep that. Uh, but, unfortunately, uh, yeah, okay, that's EVA actually, and let's try and get some surface samples. So, let's, come on Jeb, don't fall over. And there we are. So, the first steps on the moon, and actually I think the first thing we have to do is plant a flag, really. So, uh, oh, is he going to plant a flag? There we go, let's plant a flag. And, there we are. Good on you, Jeb. First first moon landing and uh, now let's take some samples and do some other stuff so let me just the darker midland surface appears to be made up of balsatic bal basaltic rocks that's interesting I guess so we can keep that data because that's worth quite a lot and uh, now uh, let's also do an EVA report so you look up and search for the search the sky for Kerbin and suddenly you feel very small <laughs> That's a good one, that is. Anyway, I think now it's time to get back into our command pod. I'm not going to, you know, spam the uh, EVA reports and such. I just want to do one. I don't want to sort of try and cheat the game, really, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but you're welcome to. It's a single-player game. Play it how you want. Uh, it's not my decision how you play the game, but that's just how I'm going to play the game. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is... Uh, Probably, if I zoom in here a bit, let's see where we can go. So, we could head over here, or we could... Uh, see, um, yeah, we didn't really land that close to any major uh, places. So, I guess I'm just going to head... I don't know, I could probably go down to one of these big craters. Uh, but I just essentially want to go somewhere different so we can get some different scientific data. Uh, because different scientific data is always worth more. So, um, I think we're... Let's just head... Uh, let's just head east. And hopefully... Yeah, they did implement quite a, f quite a lot of biomes, really, into this. Oh, going north. I think we should try and probably head east. Yeah, down into this this crater here. I mean, we can go further than that, it's just, you know, head in this sort of direction, I think. It's probably a good idea. So... Yep, 
yeah, I like what they've done with the sound system. I think it needs polished, but uh, I like what they've done so far. It's all quite interesting and good, and uh, I think they've yeah, I think they've done a good job. So we depart our flag, and now hopefully we'll land somewhere a little bit different that we can get some different data from. I'm just trying to push this so it's going straight east for my OCD reasons. But you can see actually this apoapsis is going to take us quite far and we're not really burning very much fuel. So actually I guess we can aim for these, so we need to aim a bit more south. So let's do that and we can land in there because I'm pretty sure that'll be a big enough crater to give us a different biome so that we can actually uh, get some slightly different data. There we go, that's looking good. So now I'm going to point retrograde and get ready to actually slow ourselves down again because we did get up a few hundred meters a second of uh, velocity there. Although that's not really that much, it won't take very long to slow down from that. And you can see, I think this is our crater here. Or, uh, yeah, I guess it's a crater. It's just a big crater with lots of little craters in it. Uh, and yeah, we're going to have to slow down. So. I'll start doing that now. This shouldn't take too long, really. And we can't time warp at all because we're too low down. Ah, well. This should be quite an easy landing, really. We're not coming in too fast. And... Just going to keep burning sort of retrograde and sort of down a bit because I'm quite happy to keep going down a bit. I'd prefer to have my velocity pointing straight down. There we go. So, just coming in down for our second landing on the moon. And Jeb's looking a bit creepy actually. I'm kind of wishing I didn't look at him then. But he's, he's happy. He's smiling. So, we should all be good in that sense. And now just need to very, very gently bring ourselves down onto the surface of the moon. And there we go, we slow down to just 10 meters a second or so, which is, we could land on this really, but I'm gonna slow ourselves down a little bit more. And there we are, so we've landed again, and uh, I'm going to reset this, oh why did I reset that, I should have sent it back, I'm going to observe that, and keep that one, because that's worth a different amount, and uh, I'm going to review this and transmit that one, so that I can then get another one on this tank. So, it seems to be less dense here, but you can see it's from a different place, so the scientific value is full again. I'm going to keep that data, and uh, now it's time to make another EVA report. So, let's go out here with Jeb, or Jebediah, and uh, plant another flag. So this is going to be our second landing. Okay, so... Now let's take another surface sample and see what Jeb has to say about the uh, surface of this part of the moon. So it has a high concentration of rare elements, nice. And uh, scientific value is 120, so we're going to keep that data. And now let's do an EVA report. And uh, the dust is getting everywhere apparently, so we'll keep that data as well. And uh, I think we could probably head somewhere slightly different. We have plenty of fuel left, so I think we'll head somewhere slightly different and then uh, leave actually going back to Kerbin for the next episode, I think, uh, because this is probably going to be quite a long one. Uh, I don't know, actually. We could probably do it all in this episode, so I might just do that and leave it as a slightly longer one, because I don't think you guys have a problem with that. Anyway, I think we could probably burn to here, so that's pretty much east and a little bit south. So I'm going to do that. completely stupid. Nope. And actually, yeah, we're pointing in pretty much the right direction to land right in that crater. There we are. And that's a couple of hundred meters a second of delta V. Uh, in fact, will we have enough fuel to do this? Uh, maybe not. 
maybe not. I'm thinking it's maybe the best idea actually just to head home. We can launch another mission if we want, but I guess two landings is probably enough for Jeb for one day. Otherwise his head might explode. So I think we'll just head back and I'm gonna close this. Oh no, okay, never mind. We can't. Can I? Okay, let's just stop transmissions. Uh, so we've split those off now, so we're gonna go on to our last rocket stage anyway. And uh, you can see we're taking this apoapsis away from the moon and uh, hopefully we'll get out of the moon's sphere of influence and then uh, be able to get back to Kerbin fairly easily. Because we still have a lot of fuel in this stage, it's just I don't think it would have been a good idea to land. Oh no, I've given myself an escape trajectory, what have I done? So, let's slow down a bit then. <laughs> Yeah, I probably burnt away in the wrong direction from the moon, but I can't really help that to be honest. So, I'll just burn a little bit more prograde and get out of this. There we go. And now I'm going to uh, time warp. And hopefully... Yep. Now I just need to burn retrograde, our apoapsis. And that should bring our curb apoapsis down. And hopefully it'll bring it down low enough that we can actually uh, land on Kerbin. And we do have plenty of fuel, so that shouldn't be too big a deal. Our orbital velocity is only 100 meters a second, 150 meters a second, so that's nothing really. So we may as well burn... Uh, in fact, have we got... Hmm. Let me just... <laughs> We're very close to getting a min-miss encounter, actually. What's that perhaps is that a million? I'll just do this and see where Minmus will be next time. Yeah, we don't have time. We'll not do that. Oh, we probably could have landed on Minmus, but uh, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I think we'll just leave it for today. So, get back to our apoapsis now after Jeb's had a nice look around. And I guess we could do a couple of, you know, we could do an EVA report and a crew report here out in deep space, away from Kerbin, even though I think we actually have done one of those before. Uh, so anyway, EVA report, and uh, we'll keep that. It's not worth that much, but we'll keep it anyway. And uh, let's store those experiments. Grab on, and let's do an IVA report. So, our crew report. It's very round. Yep, well done, Jeb. So, I'm going to burn retrograde a little bit more and bring our Kerbin parapsis down and uh, there we go it's all the way down and now it's time to actually uh, split off decouple from our engine and uh, now we can deploy our parachutes and everything and get ready to fall down to Kerbin so we're descending down to Kerbin now uh, hopefully we will make it there in one piece, and uh, you can see we're going to come down above. Yeah, it looks like we're going to come down above land, and uh, hopefully we won't come down too fast, but it looks like it's going to be quite a sketchy approach. And I do also know, and it's a bit of a design flaw really, uh, that this science part here is very weak, so we're going to have to try and sort of pull up away from the ground just before we hit the ground, and hopefully... I really hope that that science part doesn't break, because that's got so much value to us uh, in science points. Well, it's got a reasonable amount, anyway. So, uh, it looks like we're going to come down reasonably fast, actually. But We've slowed down a lot now, and our uh, parachutes should deploy sometime soon. Yep, they should deploy around about now. There we go. And uh, now, we just have to hope as much as we can that this doesn't break when we get down. Hopefully I'll maybe be able to split the load between these things as well, because I think those are slightly stronger from my experience, I don't know. Anyway, I'll see what I can do, so if, uh, not swing it that way, but if I swing it this way a little bit, mm, come on, come on, come on, oh, that was close. I think I just, <laughs> that shouldn't have theoretically worked, but it did. So, I think I probably managed to spread it between these two, or... I don't, I don't even know, that was a bit weird. But anyway, <laughs> in true Kerbal style, we fall down to the ground, 
and it looks like we've made it back safely. So, uh, while we're here, oh, I don't think we can EVA jab. Oh yeah, we can. There we go. Let's EVA jab and uh, not plant a flag, but we can take a surface sample and uh, yeah. <laughs> You, this this is dirt and grass and some small rocks. You suspect this isn't going to be much of a groundbreaking discovery. So we'll keep that data. And uh, now let's get back into our little uh, hatch here. And we'll also do uh, a crew report as well. Oh no, we won't because it'll overwrite the existing one. So uh, let's recover this vessel with this fancy button that they've added up here. And now, hopefully, we'll be able to get plenty of signs. So there we go, 618 signs. So we've got 524 from that mission. That's pretty good, uh, if you ask me. Not the best, but pretty damn good. So these cost uh, 160 signs each. And I think we should try and get hold of the main cell, which I think is up here somewhere. So I'm going to try and do that now. Uh, so I think we have to research that part, and that'll give us some slightly wider command pods and things, which will make doing science a lot easier. That said, I think there are more science pieces somewhere along the line as well. I'm not completely sure, because I've sort of deliberately not found out. Uh, but, hmm. We'll see what we can do, I guess. Uh, so, let's first of all get this one, and now we can get the nuclear propulsion. Uh, some more command pods there. Uh, I don't think those are really that useful for us yet, so I'm not going to get those. But uh, I presume this one will need nuclear before we can actually unlock the advanced rocketry or the super advanced rocketry or whatever it will be called. Uh, but I would like to get more science parts, really. So let's try unlocking... Uh, not that one. Uh, maybe this one. Do we get any more science? That's some other fancy stuff. We want more science. Uh, come on. Let's advance. Let's advance this one. Uh, we still have a decent amount of science and that one's a lot cheaper. And that gets us some more aerodynamic stuff, so that's not really that useful. This won't get us anything new. Um, let's see what this gets us. Oh, we don't have enough science. Oh, well, those ones are expensive. Okay, never mind. These are all a lot more expensive now. So, is there anything useful back here that's a lot cheaper that we can get? Uh, let's have a look. That looks... Um, that looks okay, I guess, but I don't really think we need that kind of thing yet. This looks good for building space stations, but we don't really need those yet again. Uh, so, I think just out of... Well, I don't really have anything better sp to spend the science on. I'm going to get some some of these parts, so let's get those and uh, let's see, any more science? we need more science the more science the better uh, how much? Commuter 188 and the seismic accelerometer anything? can we get any of these? no we can't so I think that's it for this video guys thanks for watching, if you liked it give it a thumbs up and a favorite if you have any suggestions or questions then leave a comment down below uh, as I said, thanks for watching and have a nice day.